عيد الأضحى استمروا تقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال In this video I'm going to present a short clip from Uthman Al-Khamis He is speaking about Eid Al-Adha Specifically the animals that you need to choose to be sacrificed or offered in Eid Al-Adha and the minimum age or the legal age for each animal As always I'm going to present the video Watch it together, then we we'll explain it in detail, word by word. One point, the entire video is scripted. So if you miss a word, an English or an Arabic one, you can always catch up in the transcript. شروط الأضحية كما قال أهل العلم أربعة. الشرط الأول أن تكون من بهيمة الأنعام. وبهيمة الأنعام ثلاثة. إبل بقر غنم. والغنم بنوعيها الضأن والماعز. الشرط الثاني أن تكون في السن المعتبرة بالنسبة للإبل أقل شيء يضحي فيه خمس سنوات وبالنسبة للبقر أقل شيء سنتين بالنسبة للغنم فيها تفصيل إذا كان من الضأن أقل شيء ست أشهر إذا كان من الماعز أقل شيء سنة First noun الشهر is the month and السنة is the year Next we have الشرط the condition الشروط the conditions the plural of the condition next we have al ibil al ibil is the camels al baqar is the cow or the bull both we call them al baqar al dhan al dhan is the lamb or the sheep al ma'iz is the goat al ghanam it includes the goats and the sheep so al ghanam can either be a goat or a sheep al anam Includes all the list we have seen the camel, the cow, the bull, the lamb, and the goat. All these animals we call them Al Anam. Now let's move to verbs and some grammar rules. We have Yudahi. Yudahi. Yudahi is a verb and it is derived from the word Dhaha, which means to sacrifice. Yudahi is in the present tense which means he sacrifices or he offers a sacrifice. However, when we want to say she sacrifices, we say hiya tudahi. Huwa yudahi hiya tudahi. Example, al-mu'minun yudahuna bi-udhiyatihim fi eid al-adha. See here the verb yudahi becomes yudahun because the noun here changed from huwa to al-mu'minun which is a plural pronoun they yudahi can also be used to describe the act of giving up personal interests for the benefit of others example huwa yudahi biwaqtihi limusa'adati al-akhirin so here he is giving up his personal interest his time and the benefit to help others next we have the phrase as-sin al-mu'tabara Asin al Mu'atabara. It refers to the legal age or the age of majority. It describes the age at which an individual is considered legally responsible to make decisions. However, in our video, Asin al Mu'atabara describes the age at which the animal is considered permissible, allowable to be sacrificed. Example. السن المعتبر للإبل هو خمس سنوات السن المعتبر للضأن هو ست أشهر So the minimum age for the camels to be sacrificed is five years and for sheep is six months Next we have the phrase فيها تفصيل فيها تفصيل It literally means it contains details or there is elaboration in it It is often used to indicate that there is Further information available regarding the matter or the subject. When someone says fiha tafsil, they are suggesting that there is more to the subject than what has been initially mentioned. Example, بالنسبة للغنم فيها تفصيل. So regarding الغنم, there is more details regarding السن المعتبرة. Because as we have seen, الغنم it contains الماعز and so both have different ages or legal ages. 
Now let's recap. We are going to use all the words and the examples that we have seen previously in order to understand the entire clip. شروط الأضحية كما قال أهل العلم أربعة. الشرط الأول أن تكون من بهيمة الأنعام وبهيمة الأنعام ثلاثة إبل بقر غنم والغنم بنوعيها الضأن والماعز. الشرط الثاني أن تكون في السن المعتبرة بالنسبة للإبل أقل شيء يضحي فيه خمس سنوات وبالنسبة للبقر أقل شيء سنتين بالنسبة للغنم فيها تفصيل إذا كان من الضأن أقل شيء ست أشهر إذا كان من الماعز أقل شيء سنة That's it Now once you understand all the Arabic words being said by Uthman al-Qamis it's time to repeat listening to his video let's say two three times per day for an entire week. This process is very important in order for all these words to stick for eternity in your mind. So eventually it will be easy for you to speak them just like native. Once again, Eidukum Mubarak, Taqabbal Allahu Minna wa Minkum, and I will see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.